Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over the color panel. Now the color panel is used to choose your color for whatever various shapes or tools you are using in Affinity Designer, and the color panel can operate in HSL, RGB, CMYK, or LAB color panels. Now, uh, by default it is in the color wheel, and if you ever need to get to the color panel because it has disappeared, you can come up to View, Studio, and select Color. Now, uh, the color panel also changes depending on which tool you might use. For instance, the Vector Brush tool changes it to something like this, and the Fill tool will change it to something like this. So uh, it will change also based on Persona, um, the Pixel Persona, it will change to different and it'll be different than the draw persona. Um, so let's go over some of the tools inside of it. There is the none tool which will make whatever uh, active selected layer none have no color. Uh, there is the swap tool which will allow you to swap between your foreground and background color. There is the panel preferences which will allow you to change from wheel to sliders, boxes, and tint. And uh, you can play around with all of these. And some of them have different uh, color palettes that you can use. But in wheel, there's only uh, HSL. The next is the color picker which you can click and drag over the color you want selected and then make whatever thing you have selected that color. There is also stroke and fill colors one, which are the foreground and background color. And down at the bottom, there is an opacity and noise slider. So right now it's on opacity, so we can shift the opacity up and down. And if you click the dot, it'll change to noise and click back for opacity. And that is base, uh, all of the basics of the color panel. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo tutorials. If you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below and uh, subscribe for more videos. Thanks.